Hey guys, how you doing today? I'll tell you a little story. Found this little ad in a newspaper the other day, and it was it was too good to be true. It said, "Free 1988 Honda Goldwing bike. If interested, contact." And it had this guy's email address. So yeah, I'm on board, right? So I email him. And the guy's got a real touching story. He's, uh, lives in Ohio. Bought it for his grandson last year in Huntington Beach, California. Apparently his grandson passed away a couple months ago. And they're trying to clean up their affairs and he's having it trucked back here to him. But he and his wife neither one want it nor do they want to see it. So if I'm interested in possibly paying some of the shipping, all I got to do is contact the uh, shipping company, and he gives me their email address. And so I asked him back. I said, "Yeah, I'm on board. I'm all about it. Have you already contacted them and authorized them to deliver it to my house instead of yours?" Now remember, he's already having it picked up, so he already paid them, I would think. And I live in between California and Ohio, so actually there should be money coming back to him. You know what I mean? But anyway, so I contact him and they say, yeah, okay, great. Yeah, he's authorized us to uh, give the motorcycle to you. We have the paperwork and the keys. All we need from you is a payment for the shipping, $650. Well, I'm thinking the cost sounds about right for what that would be, you know, a 500-pound motorcycle, about 3,000 miles, and uh, or however far it is, I don't know. But Western Union only to a guy in Louisiana. He's got his name and address and email address. Okay. Well. Now I'm scratching my head and going, yeah, all right. So I tell him, I say, look, I send him a message. I say, I, first of all, I can't find the shipping company on the Internet or in a phone book anywhere. And uh, <laughs> so I tell him, I say, you know, I'm on board with this, but I have some concerns. So if you'd please provide me with your business's home office contact information and uh, as soon as I'm satisfied with the legitimacy of your operations we will proceed now just as I thought you know that shut him up I didn't hear from him for a week well I just got a message from him a minute ago saying that uh, What's up? We haven't heard from you. We sent you our letterhead, which uh, letterhead is one word in the business world. They put letterhead <laughs> as well as in the previous email. They were calling the guy who's supposed to receive the money as she. His name is Brian something. They're calling as soon as she receive your money, we will ship the bike to you. <laughs> like these guys are. They got a really good scam going there, but they sure aren't very good at it. Thankfully, you know, because I'm not going to give them 650 bucks and then never see this machine. I think I'm going to tell them to send it COD, you know, and I'll pay them when it gets here. <laughs> Which, oh, it's a beautiful bike. They even sent pictures of it. It's a beautiful freaking gold wing, man. Good bait, good bait. Nice lure. But Beautiful freaking gold wing, man. Good bait, good bait. Nice lure. But anyway, I just want to share that with you. So if you see an ad like that, beware. All right.